Alright, so now we're gonna do Alone in the Dark, and this one is apparently uh, sort of like a reimagining the first game from 1992, which I never played. I think I only played the, the one that was on the PS1, and I still have it. Uh, the Alone in the Dark, uh, the New Nightmare. Alright, this one uh, I just checked, it's, uh, apparently it's not too long. But I'm gonna take my tea time and uh, two playable characters. So I'm gonna start with the with the man, which is uh, Edward Kirby, played uh, portrayed by David Harbour, and then Emily Hardwood, which uh, the actress uh, her name is Jodie Comer. And we're gonna apparently we're gonna go through uh, the Cerro Mansion to uncover some mysteries within. Well, anyway, let's just find out. I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna do first with the man, and then I do another thing with uh, oh, the woman. Anyway, let's do this. Welcome here. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let's start a new game. Okay, let's do the standard. What's this? Extra help provided to make the experience smoother. And easy, including hints and help for highlights. For those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra system, the guide player. Oh, yeah. I love a hint or two. Why not? So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to kill him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Well, creepy enough. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just <laughs> wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What? exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. 
And this is where you're gonna choose. You can tell. So it looks like some uh, get well. Choose character. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. I thought she was going, don't leave me alone. Ooh, we're playing chapter one. It has, if I'm not mistaken, like five chapters, that's it. Oh, we got a gun. We got a cold. Look for a way inside the house. Decetto, the old plantation building, was ready to fall. But kept alive by some starry eyed carpet beggar called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Combe figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. Ooh, that's such an accent. Uh, oh yeah. <sighs> Collectibles. Well, I love searching. How do I start? Is that a flask? Okay. It's probably for healing. Okay, let me just hold on and get used to the uh, controls. Okay, sneaking triangle. And there's a collectible. Now what do we got here? Uh, a flashlight, what is that? Oh yeah. Kitchen garden key. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So circle, just in case somebody tried to attack me. Sideways. Forward. Backward. If you run. Okay, it's gonna be helpful. Uh, license. It's my license, private investigator. Louisiana State Board of Private Investigator Examiners. And what currently be New Orleans. The new nightmare. That's all I'm remembering. The new nightmare started in Boston and it was raining and then they flew on some kind of island well let me check this surely if you want a pla platinum trophy you will have to pick up every single collectible What the? That was creepy. I thought that's a creator. 
from the horror movie from the 80s. It was in 1986. Come on, kitty, kitty. What? Where did she go? Stop. Fuck. Getting in there. Okay, chain door. Gotta find the key. Uh huh. Hello, madam. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, a bucket in a, what is it, a well, there is definitely something, but I will need some kind of tool. So key over there, something uh, for the bucket, and then I will make some rockers and I'll be attacked here, that's for sure, that's for damn sure, they should be open. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> say about say it, it's kind of cool. Somebody's talking. That's one big tree to fit inside a conservatory. Kind of reminds me of uh, Resident Evil Village. There were uh, bird cages. It's a sweet, sweet loot. Housekeeper's key. Did I do that? Okay, uh, our right arrow. Put your weapon back in the holster. And oh yeah, obviously it's it's here on the left. Okay, I think it should be should be it. Welcome to the Rosetto. Find the front door and let Emily in. Have a drink, pal. Don't mind if I do. I knew that. No, I don't think there will be any enemies just yet. We've got a probably meet some uh, characters, unsavory characters.
Ugh. Creepy rooms. More bullets. Ten. The family Bible. And Every death. day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems oh, all harmless in my book. I oh, see yeah. some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, -gris. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter Priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know hey, I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Hmm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madame. Now, please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Ah, bomba clad, go away, woman, from my store. Great. White people that practice wood magic. What can go wrong? You ask. But that's it, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. I need to look behind me and there is a door. Okay, that goes inside the house. 
So I still need to go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Probably don't have a key. Oh no, it's just open. Streetcar ticket. Uh, it's just a collectible, I guess. Um, essential items remained by the game, completely uncovered forbidden knowledge, and sometimes even more. They carry over from game to game. Have to play as that lady. I need uh -huh. the key. So, for the wine cellar to get drunk, we we'll need a key. But there's no map, is there? A, there is a map. But okay, we don't have the map. Not yet. Okay, now, uh, wait, there was a, uh, yeah, I want to check out this room. Storage. Something on the floor. I think when you do that, it highlights. Rat poison. <laughs> what was that? Sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Well, I'm gonna touch the that boiler. Is it gonna explode? There's something missing. Ah, okay, I will need a valve. Huh. So I will have to probably find the valve and then complete this picture. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pressing and pushing and nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Okay, boiler room. Who knows what's behind? Shovel and uh, a passage. Okay. You know what we need? Need to go up now. Uh, where is the room? No, oh, it wasn't here. That came from there. Inside here.
No, no, no. It's, I'm, I'm missing the key here. Right? Hmm. Yeah. I need the key. Come on, man. I was just there. Where, where is... The boiler, man. Ah, it's here. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. I got five now. Locked medicine box. Finally map. Floor plans. Okay. Now I am conservatory, that's where I was. Small parlor, library, drawing room, orderly, WC on the servant stairs. Grand parallel stairway, dining room, piazza, room one, two, three, stair hall. Play position, puzzle, solvable, Ex explored, completed, locked uh, door, unlockable, bolted door. Locked door. Puzzle, puzzle. Boiler room, puzzle. It's probably all, all of them, those pictures. I see three puzzles. <laughs> piazza key. Where was that piazza? I'm here, out. Okay, what about the uh, the woman? I need the key. Uh, is that a library? Where's where's the entrance? Double check. Ah, that's where I was.
Oh. I need the key. My goodness, man, you need a lot of keys. Where am I? Stair hall, reception, clerk's office, doctor's office, treatment room. Rubber stamp. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. Uh, here first. Hmm. I need the key. Nobody's coming. So many keys. There's no Hello bear. Oh shit. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. 
My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. <laughs> Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. Search Jeremy's room for clues. Ah, it's locked. Maybe there's some weapon. Great, sexy. Anything important I should look out for? Did he keep a diary? Not that I know of, but it wouldn't surprise me. Come play his book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pirosi? Back from the beyond. Every. Painted tile. The beginning part of a larger picture. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Oh. Select piece and then move. But how? The full. Aha. So no sliding.
clue. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. <laughs> what the hell? All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Emily? My goodness, somebody's tripping balls right now. The corner store, that one. What is going on? Ah, uh, what, 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 what? Nice, uh, okay, uh, kid. I might should go, no? Now you're on the trolley. What the hell? That's a good thing. What is that? It's like a swamp monster. I'm just tempted. I can't go that way. 
It better not. What the hell is going on? Fill it up. That's the story. Eh? Johnny the Conqueror. It's a medicine. Johnny, isn't it the... Uh Wood guy from the letter. Oh, a big black guy. Let him get his eye calm there. They're not the good guy. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? The pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thanking man, compare? No, uh, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace to guide him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Ghouls and goblins? I just got lizards here. But these keys, okay. There's three keys on the chain. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. Then there are two belonging to their Cerro. One, okay. I've got two keys in the, for their Cerro. One for the clerk's office and one for the library. Okay, clerk's office and library. What is that? More bullets. What is this? Snake. Preserved with reptile. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. Coward. I can't go that way. Detect. Find Miss Jackson's place to learn more about uh, Jeremy's talisman. Uh, what is that now? Can I sneak up? the monsters and do some finisher or something 
Or use to distract them items. Tap R to quickly throw the item. Hold R to end. Okay, what items? What items? And probably somewhere here. Uh huh. Oh, God damn it. On move. Great. There's another one. I can't go there either. Yeah, I'm sure if that monster was over there, I was supposed to go around it. Who's that? Okay. Too late now. It's probably here. Foggy over there. Light over here. But these keys. Another one. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank 
god. All this fun juice. Juju. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Cool. All right, we're going to finish the video here. That was enough for our intro video. Guys, thank you very much. I love you all. And